evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for tonight's main event. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. Remember. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Good defensive skill. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keep going. Gets rid of that body shot. Lights out, swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Parries that punch away. Good job protecting himself. Now he ties up there. Keep doing what you're doing. Good defense, just covering up down low. The Warriors giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Lights out, just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Final 10 seconds of round number one. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. End of round one. Lights out, pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent doesn't. We gotta do something. are throwing our game plan out the fucking window. We still... Here we go. Round two is underway. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Warriors blocking ability is doing well for him there. Oh, he is stunned. 
He could go down. Doing fine. You're okay. <laughs> Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. The Warriors got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway through this round, here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. The Warriors trying to create some space. You can see how he's going about it there. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Blocks that belt line well. You see him holding on. Ten seconds remaining in this round. It's all right, just keep moving. Able to show you his blocking ability. End of the round there, he was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around and... Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell He's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Good job staying away from the danger there. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Protecting his head well with his guard. Gets rid of that effort. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! Putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. 
Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Well off the mark by Lights Out. Lights Out's hit by a right hand. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough, so he's going to have to find a way to tie up. Seconds to go in this third round. The Warriors' punch is far off the target. Looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? You gotta pick up the speed, all right? Pick up the speed. Hasn't been a lot of distinct action so far that would give anybody a commanding lead in this fight. Although on Teddy's scorecard, you can see that he is up a round after three rounds. Nice block. The Warriors keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Lights out's effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think's starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now in this part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's getting discouraged because it didn't have the effect on his opponent he wanted it to. Oh, he takes he a shot moving. and then commits to giving one right back. Reaching the halfway mark of this hey, round. Keep your hands up. Pace yourself. Lights out's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He's all over the place. I mean, he's Looking missing good. punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top, you know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. One, two, one, two. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. And he clinches yet again.
we come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited, he can pick him off a little bit. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting a jab to his chest. His hands will drop and follow with the power shot. Right, keep this guy off balance. All night long, this is your fight. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent? The warrior stunned, and he is hurt. Hey, keep fighting. Just let's go. Hook, hook. Good work. Jump on him. Nice. And he ties up on the inside. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Piercing jab. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Counter-punching there with the overhand right. Double up on your punches. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated. The Warriors doing something that not everybody appreciates, but... He is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. That's what I want to see. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape because more to come. Listen, stop chasing them around the ring. Cut the ring off. We got it. Okay. Relax. Right. Lights out, bounces back in his step. The start of a new round, coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Blocks the headshot. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Keep 
working the body. Keep working the jab. Good, good. The Warriors really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range. He's controlling distance. He's keeping his opponent where he wants him. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by lights out. Halfway through round six. Beat him to the punch. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Go, go. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. That's a big shot to the body right there. And it's got him down and in pain. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. Nice. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, so now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. So he takes a breather between rounds after he just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. Nice work. Keep it up. You guys never. And we are underway for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? He clinches when he gets to the inside. Finish with a hook. Not able to land the uppercut. Engages in the clinch. <laughs> the Warriors doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. <laughs> that big, big shot comes crashing home. Can he beat the count? I don't so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he goes down.
down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Lights Watch out, gas tank may be heading towards empty here. Yeah, and I don't see any it's gas okay, station in the nearby vicinity. A headshot blocked. Lights out, he's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Stay close to this guy. Get close. Get close to him. Really close. Body, body, uppercut, okay? Finish with the uppercut to the head. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. Relax, relax. Take deep breaths. You're doing fine. The Warriors in control of this fight with a commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. He just looks like the kind of guy that's not going to be defeated tonight. No, he's made up his mind. And he didn't make his mind up, you know, and this is for the young fighters out there and whatever you aspire to do to move forward. He didn't make up his mind tonight. It was made up way before he got in the ring, and it's showing. He's getting the payoff. Lights out's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like he's that tied. guy who went he's in tied. to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. able to land the headshot. That's it, just like that. Hey, you got to see that coming. Now let's go. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Relax. Unload! The Warriors doing a brilliant job 
with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating nice. his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. You're going to tie yourself out. Don't just walk in. Walk in with head movement. Side to side, I keep telling you. Side to side. Listen to me. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just just keep boxing smart. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. He throws it to you. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Oh, you need to block more! Showing you some defense there with the block. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Lights out's a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into the same patterns. Nothing has changed with him stylistically since he's been knocked down in this fight. Well, that falls right into that pattern or that cliche where old dogs can't be taught new tricks. Well, right now, he's going to have to come up with a trick or two, maybe, to survive this moment. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not... Lights out! It's in a bad, big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. The Warriors gun down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. That woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was assured of heading to the judges' scorecards. It ends by knockout. That's why as a trainer, you like a fight that's close, that's closely contested. There's a little danger going on because then you know that your guy's going to stay alert. Here, there was no danger. He fell asleep, and now he is asleep. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.